All right, guys, I'm going to try to make a video here on Sei, S-E-I. Uh, my, my headphones aren't working at the moment, so the audio might not be the greatest. Um, but anyways, I didn't have a chance yesterday to make some video either. We got home pretty late and uh, just didn't have time after unpacking and everything here at my family's house. So anyways, guys, I'm going to try to do videos uh, every day if possible. And uh, I hope we'll be back to a normal schedule where I can make two, three, four videos a day. And anyways, let's talk about Say here. Now, uh, you can see that this isn't really moving over here. And that's because I'm using Binance and I'm in the United States. Um, I have to refresh this if I want to see the actual number. But this number was maybe two, three minutes ago, guys. Um, so it's not going to make much of a difference. Um, anyways... You can see that Say is still under this trend line, and if it would go up today, um, it would have to break it at about 36 cents. Uh, currently, it's sitting at around 32 cents, um, so it's still got a ways to go before it hits this trend line. And uh, then you're going to have this daily resistance here at about 38.6 cents, and you know after that, you've basically got the top of this Fibonacci here, this reaccumulation zone, and uh, and then you're going to have a weekly resistance above that at about 47 and a half cents. So uh, right now, say is looking a little better. Now, you know, you do have this also W pattern as well, uh, which has formed and it did break uh, this, you know, this little neckline as we can call it. And it did retest that. So that is a good thing to see as well, by the way. And um, yeah, guys, let's see what Say can do. Um, Say is one of the top movers here uh, today. And if we look at Bitcoin real quick, Bitcoin, uh, as of, well, a few minutes ago when it was, you know, 57.7, um, it did retest the top of this Fibonacci. Uh, several times so it did manage to punch through this now this is the four hour time frame guys keep this in mind um, and if I extend this you can see this is where we got resistance again we got rejected basically on this trend line um, so let's see guys we need to break this trend line we just you know we've gotten rejected here uh, since well the beginning of June so basically for a month we've hit this trend line and we can't break it we only broke it uh, at the beginning of July briefly, but we got we got stopped by these three daily resistances basically here. Uh, this zone is going to be, you know, quite quite a lot of resistance, I believe, to break. Um, and that's why we didn't break it last time. But anyways, guys, it looks like we went down to retest this Fibonacci again. And let's see, it's got a decision to make basically within the next couple days. It's either going to have to break this Fibonacci and break down. Uh, which means that you do have support sitting around 52.2, uh, as you can see here. Um, but hopefully we break upwards and we, we move towards this 60.2 value. And anyways, guys, um, on the economic calendar, if we scroll down uh, for this week, uh, today we don't have much more. I think there's just... Yeah, there's really nothing. Uh, only an FOMC member speaking. Uh, actually, two of them speaking. And on Thursday, let's see what we have. Thursday, we have, yeah, the CPI numbers and continuing jobless claims, real earnings, CPI in Cleveland. Uh, you also have Bostic speaking. So we got quite a bit tomorrow coming up. And on Friday, yeah, you do have imports, exports in China. Um, and we also have PPI and things like this, and Michigan consumer numbers as well on Friday. Anyways, guys, uh, that's all I got for you on Say and, and Bitcoin. Uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe, activate the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.